So I have a Night Vader Before Christmas Christmas decoration, and I have an overly rambunctious dog. So what does that mean? That means that the dog ran into it, cracked the corner. So now I'm going to attempt to fix it. And you know, the concern with it is, how do you put the little shards back? Because I do, I have a bunch of pieces right here. How do you put them back, glue them in place? I mean, it's not going to be perfect, but you know, we're trying to mitigate it the best we can. And not have the pieces just fall right into there as you're doing it. That's the main issue. And I've got a very easy fix for that. The fix would be foam backer rod. So what I can do, this compresses by quite a bit. I'm gonna glue it in, in kind of in the opening, try to push it down far enough, but not too far. That's one of those feel things. And so that way I can cut this away if need be, if I need to cut it out to get these pieces to fit. I'm hoping I can glue it just right where it's far enough to where pieces won't fall all the way in. It'll give me a little bit of backer if I need it. And I can glue these pieces in and get this thing looking the best I can. Again, it's not going to be perfect. You can't fix something like this perfectly. With that back rod filling that gap, you know, if I absolutely, I'm not going to actually have a piece fall all the way in there as I'm gluing it. That way, you know, I can hopefully puzzle piece these things together and get it going. So that's the plan. We're going to do that. I'm going to glue it because the back rod, I think if you keep pushing it, it's just going to want to come back. I'm going to use just a little bit of spray glue, maybe some super glue. We'll see. See what I got. I don't know how that would do with foam. And see if I can get it wedged in there. So I'm just going to cut a piece of about the size I need, right like that. Stuff cuts easy with scissors. And yeah, I'm just afraid if I put it in there, uh, you know, that it doesn't quite fill the gap super tight. It's just gonna wanna keep pushing in there. I don't know, I don't know exactly what glue to use. I'm thinking spray glue, but that's gonna be messy with this. I don't know if super glue would stick to this, but we're gonna just try super glue, because I have it and it's easy, and we'll go from there. So it's just good old Gorilla super glue. I don't want glue that's gonna dry quickly, which this certainly should. This quite incidentally will be the glue I use to glue the plastic pieces together. Well, you know, it's not coming out. You'd think it would, unless it just hadn't been opened. It's either dry or it's so cold it has become a solid. All right. Crazy glue number two, maximum bond, which is always handy because you want that bond to max out. Let's see if we have any better results. That's our thing. This is why I have not been doing much in the shop lately because it's winter, it's cold, and I don't like that. It's just, my shop is not heated. So, yeah, I could wear coats and gloves and hats and things. I just don't want to. So it's easier to not do that and just not be in the shop. Of course, I don't get anything done, which is unfortunate, but I get to watch TV. You know what? That's like its own form of getting stuff done. So I've just put a little bit of super glue down each side. I'm trying to push this thing in here. I'm getting a lot of resistance, which is preferable. I'd rather have some resistance than none because this is where it should keep everything in place and just jam it in there. Fingers are a bit big to do this, but it's what I got. Unfortunately, now you can see the pieces pushing there a little too far. So I need something to pull it back out. Let's see if I can get this thing to. So it's used a razor blade, not necessarily the best thing to use. So I want this thing in there far enough where it's not going to mess up putting my pieces back. Uh, I don't know why it seems so much looser down here. It's nice, nice. It kind of feels tight up here, but down here it is. Uh, maybe I didn't put super glue that far. But what this will do is it's going to stop any pieces from falling in there. And that is what I wanted. Because my main concern was, is I'm trying to glue this stuff, it falls back down. I think, just kind of feeling it, it feels like it follows the contour of this shape. I don't want it to come too far up. I mean, if it did, it did, I could just cut it away. But I think that's good. I might give this a minute for that glue to dry. Being cold, the super glue is going to take a little bit longer to dry. So let's start figuring out which pieces I have and how I'm going to lay all those out. I'm not even sure if I have all the pieces. You know, it, it falls, it shatters, and that's kind of it. Let's see. So I've got two super tiny pieces here. I mean, these are you know, easy enough to see where they 
kind of fit. Let's start. Let's look at that. All right, that's definitely the top piece. That foam is definitely in the way a little bit. Let's see, I'm pushing down a little bit, give me a little bit of space. Because worse comes to worse, I'll just super glue this, hold these pieces in place, and that should take care of it. All right, so that's that big piece here. This looks like this is the lower piece. This piece would go right there. Those little shards, I'll just figure those out later because I want these big pieces in there glued and set. Uh, but it looks like point of impact must have been right in here. You know, I said I was gonna just hold these pieces and place them glue, but I don't really wanna sit here and hold it. It's cold, I think it's gonna take longer. So what I think I'll do instead is just tape it. So let me run get some tape. So I've got masking tape. Now there's painter's tape, that's the blue tape, sometimes green. Masking tape is usually this tan. And so the reason I'm using masking tape instead of painter's tape is that painter's tape, it is good when you're trying to paint something or just kind of block. But I want this to have a little bit of hold on this piece because I don't know if, how much resistance this foam's gonna give it. So I want it to hold it tight. And masking tape's gonna do that better than just painter's tape. Painter's tape just doesn't quite have the grip that's a little grippier. So I ripped me off a piece and I'm gonna start gluing these little pieces together. I'm just gonna I don't want to use too much glue because I don't want the glue seeping out of the edges. You know, I mean, there's going to be a crack in this. I understand that. But I don't want you know, a glue seeping out of the edges as well to complicate it. So I'm going to try to be very moderate on the glue. Just you know, hit both sides of the, the piece and the piece I'm gluing to. Uh, but very thin, very light. And then tape the pieces together. I'm probably going to do the top piece, the bottom piece, tape both those. Let it sit for a long time. It's cold again. I'm going to want to draw. Go from there. Got my crazy glue. Really don't know how well this glued anything the first time because I put the foam on top of it and let her rip. So it may not have done much, but I'm just doing a very light little bit of glue. Because this thing is not very structural. I just needed it really to hold this stuff in place long enough. A little bit of glue here and there. Trying to make it light because again, I do not want glue seeping out. I'm also not putting glue on every little surface of it because I don't want to get glue on my fingers or glue my fingers to this thing. Now you can see I got a bunch of seepage going on and maybe that's just unavoidable. So foam is pushing it out just a little bit keeping it from shape. I get that that's okay. Let me get a shop towel see if I can wipe up some of this. It is Hmm, wiping it down, it's taking the paint off of it. All right, now it's time to tape it, because again, it's, that foam is providing a little bit of resistance. The handy thing is the tape will counteract that. All right, so I'm just checking to make sure it's everything is in place where I need it to be. There is a hairline fracture, and like I said, I knew that was not going to completely solve it. Just the amount of force on this, but I'm making sure everything is as good as it can be. And so I think you can tell there's a there's a hairline there. It is better than a gaping hole, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this bottom piece, then I'll let them sit. So the foam did not really push on this very much. I don't even know if I need to tape it down. I don't think I do. Uh, this fit together better, so I'm thinking maybe my foam bit of an issue on the front, on the top piece. You can still see, I, mean, I still got hairlines in there. But my foam is stopping this. You know, I don't think I'd have much of an issue with these pieces falling in, but it does help prevent that. And when I get to these tiny pieces, that's where this foam is really gonna kind of prove its might and weight and worth. All right, I'm not gonna try to put this in. I'm gonna leave good enough alone. I will go ahead, put a tape, put a piece of tape on that other piece just to make sure everything's staying where it needs to. Pull it tight, tape the edges down. 
I just wish I knew why that one wants to gap a little bit. Let's look at it. You know, you really should leave uh, leave things alone when you've got them set, but I'm never one to leave stuff alone. I don't see if there's any way I can pull that tighter. And there's not. It's set. Let's cap the glue. We're gonna let this dry. So that's it for now. Ah, man, it's chilly down here. And so I'm a little eager to get away to let this thing dry a few hours. In my respite from doing shop work, which I do hate not doing shop work, I feel compelled to do work. I've been watching Friends. That's right, that TV show from 2008. I started watching it back when it first aired. Got kind of bored of it halfway through the first season. And I later read and heard that, well, hey, if you can get through that first season, man, it gets really good after that. That is true. I really enjoyed Fringe. It gets crazy. Like, I really appreciate how crazy this show gets. And you know, at first it's, oh, we investigate the kind of paranormal, supernatural, weird stuff. And then there's whole different realities and worlds and people and things. And, like, the world's about to end. It's crazy. It's fun. If you've never seen Fringe, maybe you should check it out. I was watching on HBO Max. I don't think it's anywhere else. I don't know. I'm going to leave it up to you to check that out. But, hey, let's let this dry. I'll get back to you in a little bit. All right, it's been a couple hours. You know, I could have put a dab of glue on a piece of paper or tried to glue this paper together to make sure this is dry and I came back. I did not do that. You can see, unfortunately, I had a little bit of glue blowout. You can see a little bit of texture there. It is better than this thing being broken, so I guess we'll just count it as okay. Pulling tape off, it came off okay. I mean, again, I never had any illusions that this would be perfectly healed when I came back. I wish this gap was better. I don't quite know why, because all my other gaps look okay. Do have a little bit of glue blow out there, and I wiped it down, you know, just kind of crazy that I had this when I did all I could to try to prevent it. Like right here, having this foam in here really helps right here where I've got this tiny little piece. I'm trying to figure out how it fits in there best or well. I think. So I've got a little piece right there. I should have a little white piece right there that I don't have. I have two more pieces I think will go right here and fit, so at least the outside will be well. I don't have anything there. I might can fashion some plastic or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do about that because I'm definitely missing a piece. I guess it's best it's on the inside and not the outside, but I wish I were better. And even this, I don't know who I'm going to do to fill this. I don't know if I get a little bit of filler and paint in or just try to dab paint in there. That's the problem with breaking things like this. You just It's never quite right. I just forgot how this fit in there. I just looked at that. Okay. Try to use even less glue than I used before because I did have some blowout. I really probably don't even need the joint. Um, I'm going to put it on one side. I think putting it on both sides probably contributed to the blowout. And I don't think I need glue on both pieces. I mean, this is not a structural fix. These two pieces are not fitting together. It seems like something's off to a degree. Maybe not. I guess those gaps look okay. I just glued my finger. It looks like I did. But this is looking better. It's better than when we started. It's not great. But, but hmm. I gotta figure out how these little triangles fit in here. And I may, uh, you know what? I wonder if I can pull this back out. Nope, it's in there. I only say that because I put that on and these, it, I don't think I'm going to put them in from, they're going to be tricky. I mean, this phone has only helped me be able to get them in, but the way they're broken out, I don't know if I'll be able to put them in after putting this other piece in. I don't really want to have to re-break this thing. And I really, I don't even know how they fit in there. That doesn't look right. That doesn't look right either. No, no, that's it. I think I have it stuck in there now. If I didn't have this foam in here, these pieces, they would just be falling right in there. So at least this gives me a little bit of a buffer. Let's see if I can figure out how this stuff fits in there. I don't know, I and mean, they have to fit here somewhere. Let's 
so tiny, so hard to hold on to. So we've kind of got these in here. I'm going to have to pull them out. And it might just be like a little bit hot glue to pull them into place. I don't know. I really, I should not have glued this piece on this. Kind of capped it. Uh, yeah. I don't know. That's, that's an issue. Ooh, I'll just pop that in there even farther. That's not good. I just lost it. It's it's in there somewhere. It's trying to pull it into place. And at the exact opposite. I realized as soon as I glued this piece on here, I'd made a mistake because it gives me, you know, with this off, I at least have access to this. I probably shouldn't have glued shouldn't have glued either one of those, so I could put those pieces in there. That is uh, certainly a mistake. I mean, I might could put something. I've got this crack here where I don't have a piece. I may just never saw it. I might could put something in there and push push stuff out. Maybe something plastic, something flexible that will kind of get up in there. I'm going to work on that. I mean, overall, it looks better. That is a glaring issue. And I had the piece and lost the piece. Better than nothing? Well, that's not saying much. Let me see if I can fish this one piece I lost out. Figure out a way to glue this, which might just be hot glue to try to pull it. Or maybe I can just get tape on there and pull it out. Either way, I still have how to get glue on it. I've glued these pieces back, and so I'm left with these two tiny triangles. I have these pieces. They are right here. They are super tiny. And the thing is, with the way this broke, the impact was from this direction. So it splintered it that way. So the pieces, they need to come in from behind. Well, I have this in there. It makes it very difficult. But the thing is, it's not like I could have put them in first because I need, I need kind of that framework so they situate perfectly. And so I had to put this stuff in. So how do I go about getting these things in here from behind when I don't really have access to behind? Because I also have foam in there just so the pieces won't fall, which has saved me because I was trying to fit them in there and I would have completely lost it in there if not for that foam, which trapped it. So I think my plan here is to, with these tiny triangles, I'm going to do some hot glue. I'm going to use a skewer. I'm going to just kind of hot glue the skewer to it and see if I can wiggle it in there, super glue it, and pull it in place. Will it work? I don't know. But it's the best option I have right now because uh, there's no, you can't put it in there. You know, you can't put it from the front. It won't situate because just the way the triangle pieces are sheared. Uh, and, you know, I can't reach behind to do it. So this is my option. I'm going to try it out and see what happens. I think it's a relatively good plan with what happened. So you can see that is not, that's not quite perfect. It's better than having a hole in there though. And that really was the kind of the goal from the end of this is how can I make it look better? You can see like it just pushed a little way forward that way. I don't have that little piece of triangle. I do have that one. I mean, overall, this is, it's better than when it was fully broken. It's not great, but uh, you know, it'll be serviceable. And I think this, I think it's a little bit sharpie right there on that edge. That is a little ugly, a little recessed. I just can't do anything with it. I can't get behind it very well. It doesn't want to glue very well, I think. Oh yeah, it's solid in there, it's done. So it is not perfect. I mean, these pieces, never, I knew it was never gonna be perfect. What I could do from here if I were so inclined, I could add a little bit of body filler and try to smooth that out, sand it down. But if I use body filler and try to smooth that and sand it down, I'm going to be left with uh, either I have to repaint the whole thing because there's no way for me to blend this. I don't know what color this is. You're always going to notice a blend. Uh, so, it, yeah, at this point, it's just a story like, oh, yeah, this is where the dog knocked it right off the table and it cracked. Fixed it the best I could. Uh, I, you know, if my hot glue had held on a little bit longer, I think I might could have 
pull this recess out a bit more to get a little more flush. I mean, as is, it's it's inset. I don't know, sixteenth, sixteenth an inch or so. Uh, this bottom triangle fixed a little bit better, but you can see, I mean, you can see it just uh, there's pretty good recess there. Now it's better than having this whole corner, this whole side knocked out. I mean, it is back in place, but you definitely see the mistake. No way around that. Call it done. This was my crappy fix for a broken decoration.